Hey guys and welcome to your very first lesson in Beautify. Alright then, so first of all, what is Beautify exactly? Well, in a nutshell, Beautify is a user interface component library and it's based around Google's material design philosophy. Now, if you're not sure what material design is, then just open up any kind of Google app or Google website and you're going to notice they all have a similar look and feel. They have similar UI components, things like the buttons or the menus or any kind of drop downs. They're all similar. So this is Google's material design philosophy. They're made like this to give a good user experience and to make the website look nice and clean. So that's what Beautify does for our view applications. It gives us all of these different UI components like buttons, toolbars, pop-ups, and a grid system to adhere to this material design philosophy to make our web apps look pretty nice. So you can think of it as a bit like materialized CSS if you've ever used that library, but only this time it's not only CSS classes, but it's specifically built for Vue.js and uses components as well as classes. All right then my friends, so in this series we're going to be creating a user interface using Vue.ify for a Vue project which looks something like this and it's going to be a mini project manager. So right here we can see we have different projects listed, color coordinated based on the status, complete, overdue or ongoing. We can also order these by person or by project name and you can see a little tooltip right there as well. We have a menu at the top but also we have a menu to the side which we can open up. To add a new project we're going to be using a pop-up and we can add a different due date using this calendar as well. So all this is quite nice. We can go to the dashboard which is this thing, projects which is my projects, so not everyone's, but just my projects, and we can see more details right there. We can also see the team right here using some different thumbnails and avatars. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. This is what we're gonna be creating in this course. Now, I will also briefly show you how to store all of this data in a NoSQL Firestore database, but I wanna stress that this series will not be focusing on any kind of data logic, structure, or authentication. The idea behind this course is to learn Beautify. So I will implement some basic functionality such as adding projects, retrieving data and ordering data, but that won't be my focus. Beautify will be the focus of this series. But once we're done creating this UI, you should be then able to go in and add your own data logic and authentication, etc. Okay? Now, all of the course files for this series can be found on this GitHub repository right here. It's called Beautify Playlist. Now, I want to stress something right here because I think a lot of people land on the repositories and they look down here and they say, well, there's only a readme. Where's all the code? Now, the reason you don't see anything is that I do a different branch for every single lesson in the series. So each lesson has different code corresponding to that lesson. So if you want to see lesson eight code, select the lesson eight branch and you're going to see that code right here. OK, now I will also be using VS Code as my editor. You don't have to, but if you want to follow along, just go to code.visualstudio.com and you can download that for free right here. It's really cool and I can't recommend it enough. All right then gang, so just a couple of things you should know before you start this playlist. The first one obviously being Vue.js. If you're a complete beginner in Vue, then this is not the place to start. You wanna check out my complete beginners series on here for Vue.js instead. The link to that is gonna be down below. And also I do have a Udemy course on Vue.js which goes into more depth and uses Firebase as well. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave the link to that down below as well. The second thing is the Vue CLI version three. Now, you don't need to be really familiar with this, but that is what I will be using in this course. So if you wanna brush up your knowledge in this, I do also have a Vue CLI version three playlist on this channel. So that link is gonna be down below as well. So there we go, my friends. That is your introduction to Vuetify. I really hope you enjoy this series. And if you do like the videos, my friends, please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like and I'm going to see you in the very next one.